guys! This is Aksana Burfeinart and welcome to Technical Thursdays. In today's video, I will be talking to you about paper surface supports. What I mean by that is once you already have chosen your paper, how do you actually mount it? Uh, in terms of like what surface would you use that would uh, fit the best uh, your purpose? So stay with me and uh, let me talk to you about different ways that I personally choose uh, to select my paper surfaces. In this video, I will talk to you about a couple different options. If you are, for example, working on a large artworks, and if you're using, for example, a easel, so here's my suggestion. So if you have a large artwork, and I worked on one of them, for example, so what I did, I bought a big, large uh, drawing board. So, this looks like that you can buy and then it's pretty thick it's metal rimmed uh, metal rimmed on here and on the bottom so you can see I have some uh, here a clip um, mounted uh, for your photo reference so it's a, I found it uh, on Amazon so it's very helpful and you can then mount your paper surface you can um, just put any size here and work from um, just uh, this type of surface okay so it's a drawing board and it goes directly into your easel and you can either lift up your easel and you can uh, draw by standing up and it's a great option if you like to move around if you're very active or if you're tired of sitting down you can just um, draw by standing up so that was number one option for you Number two option, again, we're back to the easel, but you, for example, don't want to just um, work on a big, large artwork. You still want to kind of um, have an option of either sitting down or by standing up. You can, and your work is much smaller than this drawing board, for instance. Um, you can have one of these drawing boards, a smaller size, and you can take this artwork anywhere. So if you want to shift in between drawing at the easel and drawing at the table, you can just take it with you, okay? And uh, uh, use it, it's very portable, use it on either surfaces, okay? So here, again, you can lift up the easel and you can just work on your artwork this way. Now for the option number two, I'm going to take you to the table. So for the table, you will have few different options. If you have that, what I just showed you, that the, the portable option of the drawing board that you can shift in between the easel, you can go back to your table and work using the same surface support, okay? The drawing board. Now, if you have an adjustable art table, that, that's even better. You can uh, lift it up and adjust um, to the desired height. If you work, for example, even smaller than this drawing board and you really don't want something so large like this, uh, you can use uh, just uh, a clipboard. It's a much smaller size and it's even more portable. You can even go and sit on the couch and draw on your lap uh, if that's what you chose to do. Again, so this is for a smaller artwork. Now I want to give you a little uh, trick about using the back side of the paper. Sometimes uh, when you buy uh, paper pads, okay, they at the very, very, very back, they have this nice sturdy cardboard. And sometimes what I do, I just um, uh, tear it off and I use that as a support. Okay, so that works really nice. It's sturdy enough or you can use it not just for paper support, but if you saved enough of these, you can ship and package your artwork that way, sandwiching between this type of cardboards and voila, you don't have to go and uh, buy at the store. Now, if you don't have uh, an adjustable art table, so what you could do, you can invest in the 
board in the drawing board that has these little legs like this. This is a visual edge slant board and uh, these legs come up like that and then you are already drawing at an angle. Now the wonderful thing about this board and I just love it, I love to take it to different um, uh, surfaces uh, like a um, kitchen table or if I'm not at home I can bring this to somebody else's like uh, my in-laws house. This, this is just to give you an idea it's also portable and it's already at an angle. It's also magnetic so you can use uh, these okay magnets very heavy magnets and uh, they will hold your artwork okay they will hold it okay so and it's also dry erase so you can even um, take notes and erase them so this is a wonderful wonderful option in my opinion my other suggestion for you and it, this is a not a budget friendly suggestion this is a, a very long-term investment suggestion basically this is called icarus board it's pretty expensive and pricey but you uh, get what you pay for it's designed to be heated up and use one side which is a he heated side for your artwork and what it does it melts the pigment that you're applying and lets you blend very easy if you have a uh, some pain in your uh, wrists um, this is a great option for for just to ease the pain and uh, blend it much quicker and, sm and uh, smoother so this is another option for a paper support sometimes i use that it's um, just to work on my artwork um, right there directly on that, even on the cool section without even heating it up. I just love this glass top. And for example, if I'm working on the drafting film, what I will do, I will put a piece of um, nice paper, drawing paper, and that was the one from the Bristol Smooth. Okay, it could be any drawing surface, but you want it as smooth as possible as the drafting film tends to pick up whatever is surface underneath, so it will pick up any um, uh, textures. Then I would put a line drawing. So again, this is, a, um, you don't even have to worry about transferring the line drawing. And then uh, a clear drafting film paper directly. Okay, so then you can just uh, tape it and work as it is. So you don't, you will eventually, you can e um, just go and outline the line, the line drawing, and then take this out, and then you will have um, a nice clear white surface underneath. So you can see the colors much clearer this way. So that's just another option. Now, my last tip of advice for you in this video, and I'm sure there's many more other ways that I may not know about or may have somehow missed to explain and show to you. So I want to talk to you in this time. My last advice to you is get in a gator board. You can actually get gator board in larger sizes and they can be so versatile. You can work with your, um, uh, the, the water medium, uh, the water soluble medium, um, and you can also use pastel on gator board, and you can use it to mount your own artwork um, using the gator board. Okay, the gator board tends to be not, um, a surface that is kind of going to not soak any moisture and uh, is uh, still sturdy to work from. And it's great, it's just a great surface to have. Also, it can work as a backing if you're framing uh, your artwork. So this is my last advice um, for the last um, surface. I hope you found this video helpful and you got some great ideas that you could incorporate in your own art. 
And if you have any questions regarding your personal choice for paper support, please comment below. I would love to hear your way. I hope you have a great day and see you next time. Bye.